All right, number 26, we're supposed to graph the function with the given domain and then identify the range. So y equals 3x minus 2, domain x is greater than or equal to 0. If they give us a fancy domain, remember, we're going to have to have a fancy graph. It's not just going to be one of those graphs where we say, hey, we can go anywhere we want with arrows on both sides. It has to stop at 0. So it's going to stop in one spot. This is going to be a ray. Let's see what happens. If we think about making a table of values, the nice thing is they've already solved y by itself. They say we have to plug in for x any numbers greater than or equal to 0. We should always use the limit point, in this case, 0. Then we can pick any numbers greater than 0. I'm going to keep life simple and pick 1 and 2. If we plug those values in for x, 3 times 0, that's 0. Minus 2 gives me a y value of negative 2. Let's try 1. 3 times 1 is 3. Minus 2 gives you 1. And if we plug in 2, 3 times 2 is 6. 6 minus 2 is 4. Now remember, x is 0. X, when x is 0, that's my stopping point. So sometimes I like to think of that putting a big old dot. Stop when x is 0. The y value is negative 2. So I'm going to make a big old dot to remind myself. I have to stop right there. Other points on the graph were 1, 1 and 2, 4. So when I make my graph, I cannot just draw a line like this and go forever. Because if I pick, do it like that, all this stuff, pick this number right here, for example. That coordinate is negative 2, negative 8. The x coordinate is negative 2, but they said I can only have positive values of x or x equals to 0. So i got to back this thing up all the way to that point right there, and I have to stop it. So essentially, I don't want a line I want a ray. It stops here and it goes forever in that direction. So the graph would look like this. The range, we're talking about the y values. So yes, we hit negative 2, we hit 1, we hit 4, but those aren't the only y values we hit. We want to look for the lowest point because this graph goes up to infinity. What's the lowest y value we hit? Well, the lowest we hit right there is when y is negative 2. And then we hit negative 1, 0, 1, 2, it keeps going up. So how do I describe all the numbers that are negative 2 or above? We'd say all the y values are greater than or equal to negative 2.